Welcome back. This is the latest updates on the crisis in the North Korean Peninsula. North Korea has launched a second successful ballistic missile test in a week. This is the tenth launch this year. The first was an intermediate range missile that travelled approximately 500 miles and came down close to the Russian port of Vladivostok. The second missile was described as medium range and of a different type than the first travelling about 300 miles. Launched from a site in Pukchang, North Korea has stated that they have the ability to fit nuclear warheads to both these missile types. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff have released a statement saying our military is closely monitoring signs for additional provocation by the North Korean military and we are keeping a full military readiness. North Korea has now boasted that this last test confirms it has the capability to reach Japan and even US military bases, claiming they were now combat ready. Kim Jong-un, the president of this rogue state, has approved the deployment of this weapon system for action and is calling for it to be rapidly mass produced. US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said these continuous tests are disappointing and disturbing. Apparently this latest launch, while shorter than the one a week ago, was a success, enabling the North Koreans to verify technical information and its adaptability under various battle conditions. Totally ignoring warnings from across the international community and the United Nations, Kim Jong-un is pushing ahead with his missile and nuclear program at an alarming pace. Satellite imagery has shown activity at a test site that could be preparing for a sixth nuclear test at any time. The aim of the North Korean dictator is to ultimately produce an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching mainland America. This is however a bigger jump than might be expected as the technology to launch into high orbit and maintain a controlled descent to a target is highly complex. Equally, the two missiles North Korea does possess are in fact vastly different. The medium-range ballistic missile is liquid-fueled and has to be moved to its launch position before being pumped with fuel. This fueling can take about an hour and is actually easily detectable, making it vulnerable to attack. The shorter-range missile is perhaps more worrying. This can be loaded with solid fuel prior to being transported to its hiding place and can be launched almost without warning. Its short range may be a comfort to some but it is still within easy reach of both Japan and South Korea. What the US or indeed the international response will be should Kim continue on his reckless course is anybody's guess. With Chinese border troops being taught North Korean phrases in case of refugees trying to cross the border, South Korean and US Marines training together to attack the North's nuclear facilities, an American nuclear submarine docked in the South, the USS Carl Vinson carrier and the USS Ronald Reagan carrier conducting exercises on the Korean Peninsula, Chinese fighter jets intimidating American aircraft, Japan sending its largest warship to the region, and Russia's Air Force on high alert, one can only wonder how long it will be before somebody crosses the line. With the tensions continuing and situations changing all the time, we can only hope this doesn't happen. Thank you for watching. Check back for further updates as they develop over the coming days, and don't forget to press that like button. This is Gruftikin saying the world is watching and be kind to each other.